very apt, isn't it? Time for sport now. And Nat, it's that time of year when people just talk about transfers, isn't it? Yeah, you are absolutely right, Sarah. Yes, good evening. Transfer time it is and Derby County are already going for it. Three signings in the last two days and we understand the club are looking at a number of targets, notably in attack. And by the end of the transfer window, I'd expect the Rams to be in double figures in terms of additions. Exciting times. Well, there'll be one player who Derby will miss, and that is, of course, David McGoldrick. He scored 25 goals for the Rams last season and turned down a new deal with Derby for Notts County. It did surprise a few, but the former Southampton Forest, Ipswich and Sheffield United striker went with his heart and chose his boyhood club, the Magpies. This exclusive feature from Charlie Slater. Well, it won't be long before McGoldrick is reunited with the Rams. Derby and Notts County have been drawn in the same group in the EFL Trophy along with Lincoln, while Mansfield Town will play Burton and Doncaster Rovers. Tennis now, more good news for Leicestershire's ace Katie Bolter, who today learns that she will be going to Wimbledon next month, having been given a wild card. Katie Southlaws beat Leicestershire Foxes by 22 runs to go second in the Northern group, but it was a comical catch that got everybody talking. It involved Basil Dunmore. I've been covering sport for a few years now, too many to mention, and I have never seen anything like that catch, Sarah. <laughs> it's brilliant, <laughs> wasn't it? Very comical. Thank you very much.